Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jeff Outdoors TV. So I figured I'd do a video on this. Uh, here in Ohio, we don't have stuff that we can record the whole year. I, I don't ice fish. I don't like being on ice. It's it's scary. I mean, you could crack any minute now and diet and you can die and shit like that. So. Um, Fishing and hunting is the only thing I do on here, so from spring to about September-ish is fishing season, and then from September to January is hunting, so um, I figured that I'd tell you about my number one favorite hunting app, and it's called HuntWise. Um, it's basically an app that gives you peak time to when to go out when the best hunting is and uh stuff like that so i'm gonna head over there and show you and uh i'll see you in a minute so up here in the top left corner is hunt wise you can get it free from google play store and the app store so open it up you're gonna maybe come to this page so this page is your uh, social media page here's HuntWise itself has 940,000 followers so here you can connect with people um, comment like share their photos kind of like a kind of like a Twitter Facebook kind of thing right here this little girl found a shed and I liked it so congratulations to her So there's that part, and then discovery. You can, I don't know, I haven't really been over here, but you can discover new stuff. And then land for sale. And of course, you can create a post. Over here, this is your gear section. You can search in what your gear is or what you're using, and then you can add it to your profile. So, in instance, uh, the crossbow and these boots are my gear. You can search for anything. Um, over here is your uh, deer cast kind of forecast thing. It will show you when the best time is to go out. And this little slider bar at the bottom. It will show you the best times throughout the day. And what I think is really cool is. If you can see now the wind's blowing from the east. The more you slide this bar, the more that wind's going to change with the time of day and the, what it's supposed to do. So at 11 p.m., it's supposed to come out from the uh, uh, east, northeast, or northeast, whatever, however you want to say it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then it tells you, like, so if you look at 6 a.m., oh, at 6 a.m., it's supposed to be 4.6 out of 5. If you go up here and see Tuesday, February 25th at 6 a.m., it almost shows you five deer. Now, that is really good. And you can also do anything. You can do waterfowl, turkey, coyote, out game pro, kind of like a pheasant, crow, anything like that. You can do wild boar, rabbit, squirrel, black bear, elk, moose, mule deer, and black-tailed deer. And same thing will... It'll show you, it'll show you birds instead of deer. It'll show you turkey instead of whatever. And it'll show you little dogs for coyotes and so on and so forth. So here's the map. You can do a lot on this map. Um, over here you can do this stuff. You can predict with Huntcast. Um, I like it because I still have acres on. Oops. So I like it because you can add markers. And I'll show you what I mean over here. So this is a public hunting area down at our local reservoir. <clears throat> and you can kind of already see what I mean. You can add markers. So if you get lost putting your tree stand up and you forget where to put it, we'll go ahead and put a tree stand up right here. We'll save the pen, name it tree stand. We'll just click all these for the hell of it. So that's the ideal uh, when you want it. So <clears throat> if I'm parked over here and I set this tree stand up a month before hunting season started 
and I forget where I put it. If I mark this on this map right here, um, this orange dot where I'm at right here will actually be down here. Right here, just depending on where I park. So if I park, that looks like a pull off right there. So if I park right here, I can pull up this map and be like, oh, right, there's my tree stand. So if I walk this way, that orange dot, that means that's me. That's where I'm at now. will follow you as you walk. So you know you're getting to your tree stand. And you can do this with anything. Like, hit the marker, hit add marker. Here's a uh, general tree stand, ground blind. You can do elevated blind, duck blind, fluid pot, water source, which would be right here you can do a feeder you can do trail camera you can do trap we'll do trap so i put a trap right there we'll just name it trap so now i won't forget where that trap is but there's many more you can do you can do parking camp base a scrape you can mark where you found some deer shit you can do rub on a tree mineral site gate bedding area and blood so i found blood right there so i'm gonna put blood and you, and it's just it's really cool on what you can do on this map you can i'm not gonna go into all details but the stuff some of the stuff you can do you can find land for sale and if you go over here and you do um land ownership you know click your state all right so i'm in ohio So we'll go to Ohio. And then we'll hang out of this. Okay, why is it not doing it? Hold on a minute. Land ownership. Activate. So now you get all this white stuff. This is actually land all around you. So so here's here's one big old field wire highway. And see this is separate this is separate land because it's boundary. Here's separate land. So if I want to hunt this, I tap on the screen kind of like a tap hold and it'll show you uh the name where they're at and you can also search the phone number which I'm not going to do because that's not okay so if you got a good idea on where hunting will be you can also use this to get their phone number and address so you can walk up and i recommend talking to them personally because you might have a better chance over the phone you like ring ring hello yeah can i hunt your woods uh no go up and ask them in person knock 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 hey I was looking on Google Earth, came across your guys' woods, it looks good. I was maybe wondering if I could hunt. Sure. You might have a better chance of asking if you do it in person. But that's just my that's just my idea. But and then here's your profile. You know, you can use uh here's your giveaway status, your license and regulations of your local state. Blah blah blah. Here's where you we would create your hunt area. So if you did find some woods you could put it in here. Here's my logs. There's my squirrel that I killed, my crossbow. There's a deer track I found in my backyard, and there's some deer shit. Here is your locker. So the gear that I'm using right now is boots and a crossbow. And then I link to my YouTube channel to my profile, and here is all my YouTube videos. And that is hot wise. It's personally my favorite number one app to go to when I'm hunting. So, I'll see you guys back up here and I'll do that show. And that was HuntWise. It's the the Casper, the, the predictions, it's always spot on. If it's saying that I'm going to see a deer, by golly, I saw a damn deer. I ain't messing with you. And I just want to throw out that I am not paid or this is not sponsored by HuntWise. At any means, this is just my personal opinion of my number one favorite hunting app so i recommend you guys go check it out give it a try i feel it's going to be super useful to you if it's useful for, to me and then it's going to be useful for you and from hunter to hunter 
hey, check this out. It's a good app. So tell your friends, check it out. Remember, App Store, Google Play. And thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, this year is going to be crazy. I got some new videos coming. I got some new ideas coming. So subscribe. Stay tuned. Watch them. And I'll see you guys later.